here getting you set for championship basketball today. Brown starting instead of Morgan Neuendorf. My mistake on that one is. Kepnick has it, tries the up and under move. Wild shot, goes up and in. Right wing to Halstead. Three is up, it's short, lining the board for Luther. Lining up the center of the floor to our right. Passing on the right side of Romeo. Nice move in, and a layup goes, and a foul is called. Pretty move there from Kylie Romeo. Yeah, excellent move by Romeo. Great body control to finish through the lane and the contact on the right block there and to finish with the right hand and she gets one more. Summer gets it across the timeline on the push. Flop pass underneath towards Clavido. Knocked away, taken away by Keelan. Keelan up into the front court. Keelan top of the key to Ketnick. Left side to Madrigal. Madrigal puts it up and in. Madrigal. on the dribble. Works on Mary Brown, goes in the lane, top of the key to Jenks, steps up to a free throw line. Jenks, he scores. Jenks had 19 against Wartburg a week and a half ago, gets her first two here, it's 9-2. Goes right corner to Keelan. Keelan driving right baseline, stops at the right block, goes to Nelson in the lane, short jumper up and in. Good, ball movement and a bucket for Nelson. This is the runner, the rebound down to Clavido for the Norris. But Kepnick with a steal, and it ends up in a tied ball. And, and Wartburg will have possession. It ended up in a sequence in which uh, I think I saw a couple of those moves down in Dubuque earlier today <laughs> at Regional Wrestling. Now stops underneath the Clavido, pass too tall for her, and it's taken away by Ashley Tavis for the Norris. Kepnick up to the front court for Luther. Kepnick to the free throw line, pull up jumper, bingo! Kepnick with four, 13 to four, Luther. Lining with the basketball, veering over to the left side, sends her defender through a Nelson screen, left of the circle to Jenks, steps up to an 18 footer and buries it. Jinx. Taylor Jenks with her second bucket. And we're going on the near right wing to Kepnick underneath the keel and put it up for two. Yeah, great play call, great set there for an easy two for Keelan. Kepnick with it on the left wing. Kepnick driving in, put it up, in and a foul is called! Lavado the foul, her first team's fifth. Kepnick will go to the line for the hat trick. Now stops, takes the free throw line. Gee, it is no good. Rebound pulled down by Solvig Nelson. Nelson now to Kepnick, passes the right side to Romeo. Romeo drives to the right block, back to Madrigal right side. 18 footer up and good. Madrigal with four, it is 22-17. Flop pass underneath at the left block to Clavido, will put up the shot, no good. Rebound pulled down by Keelan. Now to Lining up the left side of the floor to Elton. Between the circles to Lining with 3.05 to play first half. Lining will dribble to the free throw line, now back out, three pointer up and good! Moran Lining with the three pointer. 25 20. Luther on top, 2.50 to play first half. Lonning coming in seventh in the nation in three-point percentage, and an offensive foul is going to be called on Christy Summer, her second, team sixth. And Moran Lonning doing a tremendous job all season long, Darren. Right when the Norths needed a basket, she could deliver with a big tray bomb. Clavido with the left block against Nelson. A turnaround shot is no good. And a foul is going to be called on Clavido. That's a great box out from Solvig Nelson. Yeah, I was just going to say that, Darren. Great defense down low. Unclavido by Solvay Nelson, a reserve sophomore. She's been playing big time minutes in the post here for the, for the Norse today and over the course of the season. And right there, shutting down arguably one of the conference best post players in Clavido. Second free throw up and good. And Nelson, six points off the bench for her. 29-22, Luther. Ten seconds left here in the first half. Bobby Burrows, pecked onto the backcourt. She's along the sideline. She touches the sideline. 4.2 seconds to go first half. There is Romeo, top of to Kepnick. Kepnick on the drive of the lane. Right hand scoop shot up and good as the first half comes to a close. Nine points for Megan Kepnick to lead the way for the Norris. Luther leads it 31-22 at the halftime break. Between the defenders goes to Madrigal in the left corner, left to the circle to Romeo. Kylie's going to take the three-pointer and bury it. 
Romeo with six, it's 34-27. North back up seven, two minutes into the second half. Romeo in the right corner, back to Kepnick, right wing. Kepnick drives to the baseline, takes a 10-foot end goal and scores. Kepnick into double figures with 11. Or dribbles across the timeline, drives all the way in, put up the shot. Rejected by Solvig Nelson and baseline left. Wartburg will play it. Katie Summer and Burroughs on the floor. Romeo on the right wing out of Madrigal. Left side to Keelan. Keelan back to Madrigal right side. Anna for three. Good. We're tied again. And Amanda Bailey will take an immediate timeout. It's 40 to 40. There's 13 16 left in the game. Bobby Burrows at three quarter court. She's guarded by Kepnick in the backcourt. Kepnick knocks it away. Kepnick ties up Burrows, alternating possession to Wartburg. And Rick driving right baseline now stops her deflected pass, taken away by Romeo for the Norse. Romeo open to the front court, passing on the right wing to. Moran lining, lining right corner to Madrigal. Madrigal back to Mo, right wing. Mo underneath towards Keelan. She's all alone. She catches, shoots, and scores. 11-42 left. North back up 42 to 40. Really dominating on the offensive glass, and second chance points are pretty easy for them. But Nelson answers at the other end with a jumper from 18 right baseline. 45-44. Luther and Taylor Elton pulls down Halstead. In the battle for a loose ball, fourth personal foul on Elton. Capitalized on the other end. First two games, Norse have averaged 25 points off turnovers in the matchup. Lining for three, right side, good! Mo for three, she's got six! It's 49-48, Luther trailing by one, 6-13 to play. Neuendorf throws it away in the backcourt! She threw it, three hops into Taylor Elton on the Luther bench. A great play, and like we saw in the first half, Darren, exactly what Luther needed when Lonning hit that three to get the lead back up to five, Lonning is exactly what she needs to do here with a big time three, cutting the lead to one, and then up the 20th turnover of the game ensues. Kepnick with it in the right corner, back to Jenks, right block, goes up, shot, block, foul called. Emmerich will pick up her second, team foul number six. To the line will go Jenks. She's left baseline to Nelson, now to Kepnick. Kepnick around a screen, drives all the way to the block, puts it up and in. 14 on the night for Kepnick. Two. Romeo skips it over to Lonning. Left side three pointer up. Good! Lonning with the big three. 54 53 Luther. 303 remaining. Kepnick with the steal. Kepnick goes up and gets fouled. Moran Lonning got the big three, but the Norse didn't celebrate. Megan Kepnick. Gets the steal and has an opportunity to go to the line. In a timeout here from Warburg, Darren. How about this crowd this afternoon? Absolutely. People jumping up and down, making tons of noise down there. The sixth man is in effect. Lining on the right side to Kepnick. Kepnick through a Nelson screen to the free throw line. Drives all the way in. Leads it for Romeo left wing. Now to Lining. Lining at the free throw line. Takes it from there. Got it. Mo again. 11 points on the night for her, 58-53, Luther, 2-10 from Danton. Miranda Murphy, now to Holly Halstead in the backcourt, dribbles it across the timeline, left side of the floor, veers to the center of the floor. Halstead, midcourt area to Brown. Brown passes on the right side to Halstead, rejected out of bounds. Luther in the midst of an 8-0 run right now, getting it second free throw up and good, 60-53, Luther. 45 seconds to go. Burroughs in the backcourt. Dribbling across the timeline. Burroughs around the screen left side. Spinning to the free throw line. Up and under against Kepnick. Kepnick got the block. And she pulls it down as well with 30 seconds remaining. And she gets fouled. Mary Brown on the personal. The Regent Center starting to feel it. Two shots coming for Megan Kepnick. 30 seconds to play. 60 to 53, Luther. It is no good. 
Rebound pulled down by Morgan Neuendorf. Neuendorf up the right side of the floor. Neuendorf stops, takes a three-pointer, and it's no good. Rebound to the side taken by Kladevo. Kladevo top of Akita Summer. Summer left side of Christie Summer. Christie's going to take a three-pointer at short. Rebound to Kipnick, 10 seconds. Wartburg isn't going to foul. North Nation, you're going dancing. Woo! <laughs> the glass slipper fits in. The storm of the court. I have never seen this in my days at Luther. An absolutely electric atmosphere, and they're, they're going dancing. Luther, pick number eight in the preseason poll, wins the Iowa Conference Tournament with a come from behind victory here today against Woodford, 61 to 53. The players are in the midst of fan jubilation down there. We're gonna send Hunter down to the sideline to be a part of that fun down there as the Iowa Conference trophy is gonna be given here momentarily to the 22 and five NCAA tournament bound Luther College North women's basketball team. <laughs> Joe Thompson has given a, the trophy to the Iowa Conference Tournament champion Luther College North. this crowd this afternoon absolutely people jumping up and down making tons of noise down there the sixth man is in effect <laughs> 